Hello, I'm Maruk Said, your microbiology guide. Let's explore in-depth micro techniques and uncover groundbreaking insights together on this educational journey into the fascinating realms of microbes. Bacteriology topic on Derococcus faecalis. But before starting this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my videos. Let's begin with the table of contents. Introduction Classification Habitat Morphology Cultural characteristics Biochemical characteristics Adolence factors Pathogenesis Clinical manifestation Laboratory diagnosis Treatment Antibiotic resistance profile And lastly prevention Start with a brief introduction about Enterococcus faecalis. Enterococcus faecalis belongs to the gram positive catalyst negative cocci category within the Enterococcus genus. It is non motile and part of the Enterococciaceae family in the Lactobacillus order under the class Bacilli. Found as a commensal bacterium in the human gastrointestinal and vaginal tracts, Enterococcus faecalis is commonly associated with nosocomial infections including urinary tract infections, wound and soft tissue infections, bloodstream infections, endocarditis and meningitis. Discovered in 1899 by German microbiologist Fritz Sachmels, Enterococcus faecalis was initially classified as Streptococcus faecalis due to its resemblance to other Streptococcus bacteria. Formerly part of the group D, Streptococci, distinguished by the ability to thrive in bile, it underwent reclassification by the International Council of Microbiologists in 1984. This decision was based on variations in biochemical characteristics, cell wall structure, and genetic data from DNA hybridization studies. The name Enterococcus was proposed derived from the Greek words enteron, intestine, and coccus, berry or coccus, leading to the reclassification of the Streptococcus faecalis group as a distinct genus Enterococcus, with the species Streptococcus faecalis reclassified as Enterococcus faecalis. Currently part of the Enterococciae family, Enterococcus faecalis has emerged as a significant concern in healthcare settings due to its resistance to multiple antibiotics and its capacity to cause various nosocomial infections. Classification of Enterococcus faecalis Previously, Enterococcus faecalis was formally placed in the Streptococcus CI family within the Group D Streptococcus group. However, in the 1980s, a reclassification occurred, designating Group D Streptococci as a distinct family called Enterococciaceae and renaming the bacterium from Streptococcus faecalis to Enterococcus faecalis. Additionally, there is a debate regarding the phylum's name, with modern microbiologists advocating for Firmicutes, while some still adhere to the old term Bacillota. The domain Bacteria Phylum Firmicutes, previously Bacillota Glass Bacilli Order Lactobacillus Family Enterococciae Genus Enterococcus Species Enterococcus faecalis Habitat of Enterococcus faecalis Enterococcus faecalis demonstrate versatility in adopting and thriving across diverse environments and conditions. Its primary habitat is the intestinal tract of warm-blooded animals including humans. Additionally, it colonizes the genital urinary tract, particularly the vaginal tract along with oral cavity and skin. In natural settings, Enterococcus faecalis could be found in soil, water, food, and decomposing vegetations. It is particularly abundant in soil and water contaminated with fecal matter. Morphology of Enterococcus faecalis Enterococcus faecalis presents as gram-negative cocci with a slightly oval shape when viewed at higher magnification. 
typically ranging from 0.5 to 2 micrometer in diameter, the cells can elongate to 0.6 to 2.5 micrometer under certain growth conditions, giving them an ovoid appearance. Microscopically, these bacteria appear as oval-shaped entities, either as single cells, pairs, or chains. They are characterized as non-motile, non-spore-forming, and non-pigment-producing. Enterococcus faecalis has the ability to develop pili and form biofilm, enhancing its capacity to colonize and survive in challenging environmental conditions. Cultural Characteristics of Enterococcus faecalis But please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Enterococcus faecalis is a non-fastidious bacterial species, allowing it to strive on a broad spectrum of general purpose and selective culture media. As faculative anaerobe, they form visible colonies in temperatures ranging from 10 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. These bacteria exhibit reliance to conditions like 6.5% NaCl concentration, bile salts, elevated pH up to 9.5 and even temperatures of 60 degrees Celsius for approximately half an hour. Despite these traits, Enterococcus faecalis is commonly cultivated aerobically at 35 degrees Celsius. Primary isolation and characterization of Enterococcus faecalis in microbiology lab often employ blood agar medium, other mediums such as neutron agar, bile esculin agar, columbia CNA medium, and McConkey agar are also utilized for isolation and identification purposes. Selective media specifically designated for the rapid isolation and primary identification of Enterococcus species including Enterococcus faecalis include Chrome agar TM orientation Brilliance UTI agar Enterococcusil agar and M. Enterococcus agar Slants and Bartley agar Cultural characteristics of Enterococcus faecalis on various culture medium are First, we have blood agar medium. Clonies of Enterococcus faecalis are minute pinpoint, exhibiting a smooth gray or grayish white appearance. They are non hemolytic, gamma hemolytic, with occasional strains showing a narrow zone of beta or alpha hemolysis around clonies. Bile esculin agar medium. Enterococcus faecalis, being bile salt tolerant, thrives in 40% bile salt concentration. The clonies are small, convex, transparent and slightly brownish, often accompanied by a brown-black halo around them. In some cases, blackening of the medium may occur. Neutrin medium On neutrin medium agar, Enterococcus faecalis forms small, spherical, smooth, opaque, creamy clonies. McConkey agar medium on McConkey agar medium without crystal violet, Enterococcus faecalis produces small, smooth clonies with pink coloring, indicating its ability to ferment lactose. Columbia CNA agar medium. This selective medium for gram positive cocci yields small, convex, mostly non hemolytic, opaque circular clonies with a faint bluish coloration in the certain cultures. Brilliance UTI agar. Enterococcus faecalis develops small, circular, smooth clonies with a turquoise blue color. Cromagar TM orientation. Enterococcus faecalis forms small, circular clonies with a turquoise blue color. M. Enterococcus medium, Flans and Bartley agar. This selective medium, commonly used for Enterococcus species isolation, results in small, circular, smooth convex clonies with a pink or white color. Biochemical Characteristic of Enterococcus faecalis General biochemical test results are shown in this table. Arginine dehydrolysis test positive, 40% bile salt tolerance positive, bile solubility test insoluble, capsule negative, catalase negative, citrate negative, coagulase negative, DNA negative, Esculin hydrolysis positive, gram staining, gram positive cocci, gas in MRS broth negative, hemolysis, 
gamma hemolysis really alpha and beta hemolytic h2 as hydrogen sulfide negative leucine amino peptidase test positive mortality non motile 6.5% nacl positive nitrate reduction positive oxidase negative oxidative fermentation facultative anaerob pyrrolidonyl aryl amidase test positive pyruvate blot test positive spore negative growth at 4 degrees celsius negative growth at 10 degrees celsius positive growth at 40 degrees celsius positive carbohydrate fermentation tests N-acetyl glucosamine positive, adonitol negative, L-arbinose negative, D-arbitol negative, L-arbitol negative, arbutin negative, cellulose bios positive, dulcitol negative, D-fructose positive, D-nl fructose negative, galactose positive, D-glucose positive, glycerol positive, glycogen negative inulin negative lactose positive maltose positive mannitol positive d aminose positive d phenanose negative remnose variable ribose positive sorbitol positive sorbose negative sucrose positive d tagatose positive trihalose positive tartrate negative L xylose negative D xylose variable enzymatic hydrolysis tests arginine dehydrolase positive caseinase negative dnase negative esculin hydrolysis positive alpha galactosidase negative gelatinase positive lipase positive lysine decarboxylase negative leucine Aryamidase positive, ornithine decarboxylase negative, feline alanine deaminase negative, pyrrolidonyl amino peptidase positive, tryptophanase positive. This video is helpful. Don't forget to support this channel by subscribing. Virulence factors of Enterococcus faecalis. Adhesions. These are surface associated proteins or structures facilitating enterococcus faecalis cell attachment to the host cells or tissues. It produces various adhesins such as villi, febrile, collagen binding adhesins, enterococcal surface proteins and aggregation substances. These adhesins enable attachment to host surfaces, biofilm development, colonization promotion and protection against flushing actions in the urinary tract hemolysin cytolysin enterococcus faecalis produces hemolysin responsible for host cell lysis this protein aids bacterial invasion of host tissues invasion of immune cells and damage to host tissues biofilm formation Biofilm formation is a crucial viral factor for Enterococcus faecalis. It enables the bacterium to evade the immune system, resist changing environments and antibiotics and colonize various substances including medical devices and host tissues. Gelatinase. This extracellular enzyme produced by Enterococcus faecalis contributes to the destruction of extracellular matrix components and host tissue. This facilitates bacterial spreads within a host, acquisition of essential nutrients and invasion of host tissues. Pathogenesis of Enterococcus faecalis infections. Enterococcus faecalis functioning as both a commensal and opportunistic pathogen is responsible for various infections such as a urinary tract infections, soft tissue infections, wounds, bloodstream infections, endocarditis and more the pathogenesis is underpinned by virulence factor like adhesins extracellular enzymes biofilm forming ability antimicrobial resistance and others while the disease's pathogenesis varies based on the type and site of infection a general overview of the steps in the pathogenesis of enterococcus faecalis infection can be outlined as follows 
adhesions and colonization. Enterococcus faecalis, a commensal and opportunistic pathogen, initiates infection by adhering to the host cell surface using various adhesions. Once attached, rapid multiplication leads to colonization at the adhere site. Biofilm formation The bacterium has the capability to form biofilms over catheters, implanted medical devices and host tissues, providing protection against immune responses and antimicrobial, thereby sustaining persistent infections. Release of toxins and extracellular enzymes Following adhesion and colonization, Enterococcus faecalis releases toxins and extracellular enzymes, including hemolysin, telinitase, lipase, proteases, etc. These surfaces facilitate the destruction of host tissue components, desaminization, and survival. Invasion and Evasion Toxins and enzymes enable Enterococcus faecalis to invade host epithelia cell while evading immune responses. Host's Immune Response Inflammatory Response The response of bacterium triggers inflammatory and other immune responses in the host body. Inflammation recruits neutrophils and macrophages to the infected side, leading to tissue damage, swelling, pain, watery discharge, and other associated symptoms. Clinical Manifestation of Enterococcus faecalis Enterococcus faecalis exhibit a diverse range of clinical manifestation in humans, predominantly appearing in healthcare-associated infections and seldom in community-acquired infections. A opportunistic pathogens, these bacteria primarily target individuals with compromised and weakened immune systems. The following are the common diseases caused by Enterococcus faecalis in humans. Urinary tract infections UTI represent the most prevalent clinical manifestation of Enterococcus faecalis. Typically observed in healthcare-associated UTIs, especially among catheterized and immunocompromised patients, Enterococcus faecalis frequently leads to cystitis and rhinonephritis. Intra-abdominal infections Despite being commensals in the human gastrointestinal tract, Enterococcus faecalis can cause intra-abdominal infections such as peritonitis and the formation of intestinal abscesses. Approximately 30% of intra-abdominal infection causes are associated with Enterococcus faecalis. Endocarditis According to 5% to 15% of cases, Enterococcus faecalis ranks as the third most common cause of infective endocarditis. This condition is primarily attributed to the dissemination of bacteria through the bloodstream following infection in genito-urinary tract. Enterococcus faecalis is frequently implicated in bloodstream infections leading to bacteremia and sepsis. While most infections are nosocomial, community-acquired bloodstream infections by Enterococcus faecalis are also reported. Surgical Site Infections Enterococcus has the potential to cause infections at the surgical site post-procedures, resulting in wound infections, abscess formation, or deep tissue infections. Other Infections In addition to the mentioned manifestation, Enterococcus is rarely associated with ocular infections, respiratory infections, and nervous system infections such as meningitis. Laboratory Diagnosis of Enterococcus faecalis in the laboratory setting, Enterococcus faecalis is primarily isolated from clinical samples such as urine and pus swab, with no specific consideration required for sample collection, transportation, and processing. Number 1. Cultural Characteristic and Morphological Identification Blood agar medium, Columbia CNA agar medium, bile esculin agar medium are commonly employed for culturing samples suspected to contain Enterococcus species. The appearance of colonies in these medium or any other used culture medium is observed and compared with the colonial characteristic of Enterococcus faecalis. Microscopic observation after gram staining revealed gram positive cocci with elongated oval shaped cells, typically arranged in pairs or chains. Number 2 Biochemical Characterization Following confirmation of gram positive cocci, a series of biochemical tests is conducted for Enterococcus faecalis confirmation. Commonly used tests include the catalase test, oxidase test, lab test, PYR test, bile esculent test, 
growth on 6.5% NaCl, arginine hydrolysis test, carbohydrate fermentation tests, which includes pyruvate, mannitol, and raffinose. Number 3. Molecular Diagnosis For enhanced speed and accuracy in identification, molecular diagnostic tools such as PCR and sequencing, ribosomal RNA sequencing, and mass spectrometry utilizing matrix-assisted laser desorption, ionization time of flight, maltof ms are preferred. However, these methods are rarely employed in routine clinical diagnosis. Treatment of Enterococcus faecalis infection For urinary tract infections, a range of antibiotics such as tetracycline, intrafuranetone, quininones, ampicillin, and tetracycline are commonly prescribed. In cases of systematic and potentially lethal infections, a combination of penicillin, penicillin G, ampicillin, and vancomycin with an aminoglycoside like gentamicin or streptomycin is frequently administered. More recent antimicrobial linzolide and daptomycin are occasionally employed. In instances of multidrug resistance, enterococcus faecalis infections, chloronephinicol and other antibiotic may be considered. Vancomycin is specifically effective against beta-lactamase produced. However, antimicrobial resistance is a growing concern, rendering some antibiotics less effective. Presenting combination therapy involving cell wall active agents, penicillin, ampicillin or vancomycin along with aminoglycoside is widely employed in the treatment of enterococcus faecalis infections. Antibiotic resistance profile of enterococcus faecalis. Enterococci exhibit intrinsic and inherited resistance to a broad spectrum of commonly used antimicrobial agents including including aminoglycosides, beta-lactam and glycopeptides. Reports include resistance to widely used therapeutic including newer options like glenzoid, daptomycin and vancomycin. This extensive antimicrobial resistant profile poses challenges in treating enterococcus faecalis infections with single antibiotic necessitating combination therapy and prolonged antibiotic consumption. Enterococcus faecalis inheritory resists several penicillin derivatives. While initially sensitive to ampicillin, the acquisition of beta-lactamase-producing genes and alteration in penicillin-binding proteins have diminished ampicillin's efficacy when used alone or in combination. Similarly, enterococcus faecalis has developed resistance against aminoglycosides, microlides, tetracycline, and quinolones. Through the production of aminoglycoside-modifying enzymes, ribosomal RNA methylase enzymes, formation of efflex pumps and alteration in DNA gyrase and topoisomerase 4 respectively. Vancomycin-resistant enterococcus Vancomycin-resistant enterococcus faecalis Vancomycin, a reserved antibiotic for enterococcus faecalis treatment. It is a drug of choice for beta-lactam-resistant and amyloglycoside-resistant strains. However, Global reports indicate emerging resistance to vancomycin by enterococcus faecalis. The primary resistance mechanism in enterococcus faecalis involves the acquisition of resistant genes, predominantly when A or when B genes. These genes are transferable between various bacterial strains and species, often carried on mobile genetic components like plasmid or transposons. The extensive use of vancomycin, particularly in healthcare settings, has exerted selective pressure, leading to the development of vancomycin resistance. The infection caused by vancomycin resistance in pterococci strains pose a significant threat, as treatment choices are limited, often requiring combination therapy or newer antibiotics such as lenzoid and daptomycin, consequently increasing treatment costs. And lastly, prevention of enterococcus faecalis infections. Enterococcus faecalis, as an opportunistic pathogen primarily associated with healthcare related infections, demand stringent prevention. The following procedures are essential to curtail the spread of enterococcus faecalis. 
implementation of proper hand hygiene practices, adequate disinfection of equipment, thorough environmental cleaning protocols, isolation of individuals who are either infected or colonized by Enterococcus faecalis. In healthcare settings, it is crucial to establish and adhere to strict infection control procedures, surveillance systems, and antibiotic stewardship programs. These comprehensive measures collectively contribute to the prevention and containment of Enterococcus faecalis infections. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much.